Hey everybody, it's me, Per Stephanie, and we are back in a little kitty big city. And whoops. Last time we were talking to that bug about getting a phone. I think. Uh, oh no. There we go. That's how we sneak to birds. Um. Well, did what's his name ever? Thank you for your contribution to science. I'll let you know when I finish analyzing the data. Dang. We don't. Oh! Whoops, sorry, Mars. We don't have a way back. Um, you think Buddy here has a cell phone? Probably not. He gets mad at me. Is there a way that I can, like. Oh, can I open this? You do. Come here. Run. Quickly. Go, go, go. You have to bring the bug a phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, you. Yay! You did it! Thank you so much! Do you want the old one? It still takes pictures, you just can't do any emailing or anything. What is emailing? You don't do emailing? I don't think so. So, you've never been CC'd? Or heard the phrase per my last message? Nope, although I do per all my messages now that I come to think about it. <laughs> what an absolutely blissful life you must lead, Kitty. Anyway, here's your phone. Woo! Concrete dipped phone. A concrete dipped phone? It might not be smart anymore, but the camera still works. Press uh, to open the phone mode and start taking pictures. I don't know what that button is. Taking photos is really simple. You just bring up the camera, pose, and click. In fact, you should take a celebratory selfie right now. Bring up the camera and get snapping. Uh. Oh, Lord. How do I get... Oh lord. Goodness. Perfect. Look at how cute. Alright. Hopefully we never have to talk to you again. Yeah, take that, Mr. Jerk Construction Guy. Oh, nice. Oh, 
I have enough for the bird? I th thought I only had like 14. Oh, all of these shinies? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So shiny, so pretty, so reflective. It was a pretty crow. Are you disposing of them responsibly? Yes. And with that, we have completed our first heroic act together. Can I try disposing of them? Definitely not. These are ancient crow rituals. Well, do I get my reward? Your what? Oh, yes, your reward. Now, where on earth did I see that fish? Uh, just a minute. Wait, Crow, was this a scam? Where did he go? Oh, shit, he's coming back. Here. Whoa, a fish! This should give you some climbing energy. Not enough to get all the way home, but it's a start. Where would I start climbing? There. You're going to need more fish to make it all the way to the top. Do you have any more? Not right now, but I've seen them elsewhere in the city. Just keep your eyes open and you'll find them. Thank you. No worries. Enjoy the fish. And keep a hold of any shinies you find out there. I've just had an idea. Oh lord. Jump, 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 jump. This delicious fish gave you the energy to climb ivy. Give it a try. I feel so much better. Let's go climb some ivy. After we get this bird. Getcha! <laughs> Doink! Nice. That bitch got some bread. Okay. Oh, okay. There's a shiny over here. Shabow! So... Can I climb, like, uh, how far up here can I climb? Oh my goodness. Not that high. Okay. Oh. Is this a fucking goose? A duck? Ah, hello there! I wonder if you could provide some uh, urgent assistance? I think it depends on the problem. Uh, oh, I see. Quite right, quite right. I don't want to alarm anyone, yet it's rather pressing, a rather pressing concern, although perhaps I'm just panicking, but there's no two ways about it. Um, about what? Oh, didn't I say I seem to have mislaid my ducklings? Mislaid? Is that a bird joke? I don't follow. Never mind, missing duckling sounds pretty serious. It does, doesn't it? What happened? Well, we were enjoying an educational tour of the neighborhood, me teaching the youngsters some local history, etc. For example, you know the robot statue in the park behind us? Oh boy, that's where I need to go to find the Chamblion. I didn't even know there was a robot statue there. Oh, you should absolutely visit it. You see, the robot is quite fascinating. Not a statue in the traditional sense either. Legend has it that a wise duck, not too dissimilar from myself in fact, would visit this park every day with his robot friend. Very loyal. Robots. Delightful. Back then it was a lake. Hulking, great wet thing where the pair would swim. Splashing and frolicking. You know the sort of thing. But robots in water. Eh? eh? All that fizzing and sputtering, not simpatico at all. Rust patches, wet circuitry, exploding knees, the robot- Not the duck, I mean. <laughs> the robot swimming days were over. Terribly sad stuff. So he asked the duck to change his programming. <laughs> Quite the feat if you ask me. Could never get my head around computers myself. The duck helped program the robot to wait in the playground while the duck swam. Good idea. A grand idea, that. And it went beautifully. But one fine day, probably much like this one, truth be told, the duck was attacked by a radioactive monster. Wait, a monster? Gekku! Usually Gekku is our protector. You know, breathing fire, saving orphans, charity gallows. Lovely chap apart from the rampages, really. Rampages? Ah uh, yes, humans write those up in little paper documentaries. Very engaging, really. 
paper document. Do you mean comics? So Gekko kidnaps the duck and whoops it easy. Throws him through a star portal. Whoosh, quack, never to be seen again. And the thing we mistake for a statue in the playground is actually the loyal robot waiting patiently for his friend to return from his swim. Oh no, it's just a great story I shared with my ducklings before we split up to find more neighborhood stories for a little show and tell session. Show and tell, that sounds fun. Oh, oh yes, I thought so. Anyway, we scampered off in different directions, all very exciting in the moment. But, uh, and I suppose this is the crux of the matter, really. I didn't set a time or place for us to reconvene. Aha! Uh -huh. Wasn't sure what to do for the best. Not really a practical duck, you see. But I didn't want us to be rushing around missing one another. Dreadful when that happened, so I retraced my steps and went back here and waited. No luck? Alas, no, but you seem like a practical sort of cat. Very resourceful. So could we team up? I'll keep a watch here. Been kind of enjoying it, really. And you can scout the city? The whole city? It seems pretty big. Hmm, you're right. There must be a way for us to narrow down our search. Eureka! We made a city map last week. Marvelous thing. Part of our project to catalog all of the different fish hotspots in the city. The ducklings marked each of their favorite places on it too. Such enthusiasm for maps. And I bet that's where they'll have gone. Here, you take it. My orienteering skills are dreadful, but you'll be able to track them down in no time. A MIP! Map made by the ducklings. It's really good. Press M to view the map. Just ignore the fish markers. Can't see what interest they would be to a kitty unless you're a budding ichthyologist, of course. Oh boy, am I. You have no idea. Oh god, you scared the shit out of me. Come here, how many feathers do you need? Hello, test subject or esteemed lab assistant. I managed to get the pet work portals connected up properly. That was quick. It would have been even quicker, but there was a minor space-time incident. Nothing to worry about, though. How minor. In the grand scheme of the multiverse, it was absolutely trivial. Just a teeny tiny set of water pipe explosions that fell out of the future in the other universe and into the recent past of this universe. Hang on a moment. Is that where all this water came from? It turns out I'd been using linear space time when I should have been using quadratic space time. Laughable, really. You want to try it out? It's really cool. I need a test subject. A friend. Test subject isn't filling me with confidence. That's why I pivoted flawlessly into saying friend. It still sounds risky. Uh, but risk is just... A pessimist way of describing excitement. Anyway, if we get this working, you can use it to fast travel around the city. In that case, sign me up. Don't worry. Oh, don't say no just yet. Hear me out. Well, I say yes. Firstly, there are- wait, what? I say yes. For real? Call me curious. Yay, this is so exciting. You won't regret it. Do you need feathers again? Not this time. Your first journey was so short that I had leftovers. Hop in. It's going to work this time, I'm 100% sure. Give or take. <laughs> Just right on in. Look here, my guy. This better lead me to a new hat. There's a dog there. Oh, it's you. You came back. I thought I'd scared you off when I jumped at the window. That was you? Goodness me, you did give me a bit of a fright. Sorry, sorry, I just got so excited when people come to visit. you a dog, right? Only the bestest boy. Only the bestest, best, goodest dog. My human says so. It's nice to meet you properly. I didn't know there was an official bestest, best dog title. Ah, you may know me by my other accolades, perhaps the squishiest, smooshiest potato or the fuzziest, happiest little pooper. Uh, the last one might not be an accolade. Wait, my owner told me that I was the squishiest, which is- we'll do this one. 
this uh, it's all in the delivery mm, I hang on a moment did you say the squishy is smooshiest potato I sure did my human caused me that too gosh that a word must have multiple animal categories then it's a pleasure to meet you fellow potato likewise anyway it was lovely to chat I hope you have a good day um don't go there's this thing that happened can you help me little potato what do you need my help with I've lost my balls oh no I don't know if I can help you <laughs> Uh, my tennis balls are gone. Come through and I'll show you. I can just... Come over here. Oh boy. Oh lord, he digging. Oh my. Just my ass hanging out. Alright. It's a lovely little nap. I'm stuck in the doghouse. Yeah, well, I think I might possibly know where two of your balls are, buddy, but uh. Aw, oh, man. Appreciate this might be a silly question, but aren't they behind you? What? Oh, those? No. These are just my regular favorite tennis balls. I'm talking about the extra special favorite tennis balls. They're very different. What happened to them? Oh, well, you see, Tanuki built me a present. Ah, uh, let me guess. There was an incident of some sort. Not to start with, it was so cool. You could put tennis balls in and it would throw them for me while my owner was at work. This is really nice. It was perfect for a while, but um, it also did go rogue one day. Balls everywhere, and then it caught a fire a tiny bit. I've got most of them back, but these three f favorite favorites are still missing. In the machine? I buried it, but please don't tell Tanuki. She would be so sad. Um, and also, please, 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 can you help me find my favorite balls? I'd be so grateful. Sure, but how will I know if they're your favorites? Don't know tennis balls look the same? Absolutely not. Each one is subtly different from the others. The scent, the taste, the texture, the personality. I'm not sure I'd be able to tell the favorites from the non-favorites if that's the case. Well, my favorite balls also have bright rainbow colored stripes. Now, that's a description I could work with. Shall I bring them here when I find them? Yes, please. Just put them in the hole in front of me and I can guard them properly. Sure thing, big potato. You're the best, little potato. Alright. Whoops. Hold on. One. Well, the other balls could be anywhere. I'm assuming they're uh, around here. In... Nope. Some capacity. Jump. Jump. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, one's up here. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Hi! Thank you. One's up here. Look out, little dog. Look out, potato man. Nice. So look out, I'm not done being a cat. Okie dokie. Now, I'm assuming I have to... Yep. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, what? What, what, what? Is it the doghouse noise that I'm hearing? Alright, little kitty. Hiya! Good job. Oh, my lord. Oh no! What if I just. <sighs> you did it, little potato. Thank you, thank you. As a reward, here's an official little potato costume. Oh my god! 
Courtesy of my friend, Big Potato. Thank you, Big Potato. Yes, thank you, Big Potato. Uh, Hiya! Oh, hell yeah. Look how cute! Uh. Oh, my jeez. Okay. I don't want to talk to you right now. I actually do want to talk to you right now. But I need a feather to power it up. Got any? Yep, here you go. Perfect. I'm gonna go here, I think. Yes. Need to get more feathers then. I'm sorry, are stairs too much for you to run up? I'm so sorry. Bamboos everywhere. Oh, but there's a there's a there's a hat in there. Oh, crap. Oh, look at the hats. Do I, can I talk to you? Kitty, you look like the kind of cat who enjoys a stylish accessory or two. Thanks for noticing. I'm very observant, Corbin. You are? Well, it was nice to see you again. Unrelatedly, have you heard about my new and glorious business venture? Uh... It's called Shinies for Hats. You're selling hats now? Absolutely not. But it's literally called Shinies for Hats. Aha, that's the clever part. I'm not selling hats, I'm selling access to hats. You see, the hats live in these little pod machines and you, a helpless kitty, do not have the secret wisdom needed to use the machine. Let me guess, you do? But of course. Only I, Crow, can perform the ancient crow ritual of inserting token and turning a knob. Doesn't sound so difficult. Which brings us to business. My proposition is as follows. Five shinies lets you hire one crow, that's me, to retrieve one hat. So you are selling hats. No, I'm a facilitator operating within a gig economy framework. With a business called Shinies for Hats. Yes, but only because shinies for access to crows who have access to hats tested poorly with consumers. And to use this business, I pay five shinies to get one hat. You're missing the subtle economic genius of my idea. I am the hat gatekeeper. Look, do you want a hat or not? Uh, here you go. I did have enough. Watermelon hat. Nice. Alright. Well. Thank you, stinky bird. Hiya! Oh, nice. Hey, don't you shit on me. Oh. Can I open this from here? Oh. I'm gonna take that as a no. <laughs> okay. Well, shucks. Is there a ball somewhere? <gasps> yeah. Shiny. Oh. Oh, there's the robot. Chameleon guy somewhere over here. Oh, he's up in here, isn't he? 
Ugh. And the walk of the thing. Oh god, he is doing a terrible job. Hello? Eep! Oh, it's just you. Wait, that's worse. It means you found me again. I can't work out if you're being serious or not. I assure you this is the most serious I have ever taken anything. Oh, it's just that, uh, I mean, yes. Well, you're right there. There's no other way to say it. I can see you. This is absolutely baffling, but there must be a solution. Perhaps I will figure it out on the way to the next location. Speaking of which... A sealed glass case containing snacks can stop a human in their tracks. What's better than just one machine? A group of six to choose between. That one was pretty good. Thank you. I was very proud of myself. But that's enough chit chat. Good luck finding me. Okay, well. Gotta find a group of six vending machines, I guess. Oh, there's a bone. Is there a dog somewhere? Hello. I swear to God. Dude. Can I hop up this? And then hop up this? Shiny, shiny, shiny. Okay. Oh, goodbye. Alright, let's think about this logically. You can't be using infrared goggles to find me because I'm cold-blooded. Also, you're not wearing goggles, and you don't seem like the type to use a tracking device. There's a tracking device type? Well, it's less of a type and more of a particular creature. You mean a particular species? I mean, Tanuki! She got a hold of one a year ago and started fastening it to anything that moved. Ah. Uh, I don't think she was even recording the data, she just liked watching the dot move on the scanner thingy. What happened to it? Crow started a data protection service. A what? It was just him looking over Tanuki's shoulder at the scanner, then offering to tell us if the tracker was stuck to us in exchange for bottle caps. Anyway, Tanuki apologized for getting carried away, and I think she repurposed the tracker for some kind of teleport project. It's up and running. She calls it the pet works. Oh, really? And there have been no unforeseen consequences? Uh, could you define consequences? No need. Your answer tells me everything I need to know. Oh, I've just had a thought about this camouflage conundrum. I want to try it immediately so there's no time to waste. Here's your clue. Lizards used to rule the world and will again, just mark my words. But until then... There's word of Geku, a store where I will, uh... Well, 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 my rhyming at all with invisible suddenly doesn't seem clunky, does it? It's no good for you, for my clue, though. Let's go with lizards used to rule the earth and will again just mark my words. But until then, there's word of Geku, a store where I will now expect you. Good luck, kitty. Ah, uh, shanks. Now I have to find him in a store. Oh, there's shinies up there. Whoop! Oh. Can I get this bird? There's a shiny in there. Hiya! Aw. Get it. Damn. <laughs> oh, not gonna make that. Well. Hup! Why are we sneaking? Thank you. Whoop. Nice. Okay. Oh, there's birds and mayhaps a shiny. A shiny bird? No, come back. Do you think he'll come back? Shiny over here. Shiny in the bush. There's shinies everywhere over here. Holy jeez. Excuse 
Excuse me, lady. Okay, well, guess we'll see what's over this way. Oh. Getting good at yumping. Oh. Hup. Oh boy. Oh no. I don't know why I jumped, I panicked. It's fine. Oh god, I forgot buttons. Oh. Some bottle caps and a banana. Wow! Oh. Excuse me, regular human. I have business. Oh. Is, uh... Is that what I'm looking for? <laughs> oh, yeah. Excuse me, human. This money is mine. Oh my goodness. How stinky and cute are you? The stinky and the cuterest. Oh my lord. Okay. Go and get this. No, never mind. Oh, nuts. Oh no, there's another thing over here. Man, I'm gonna have to find so many freaking soccer balls. Nice. Oops. Sorry, Marcy girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a bird over there. Well, I guess. Well, dang. Guess this is the end for this one. For now, I'm gonna be playing more of this. I really like this game and I think it's really fun. And it's super cute. And look at my little potato hat. But uh, let me know what you guys think. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.